If you want to practice comprehensive Navy medicine in an exceptional and distinct environment, you want to become an Undersea Medical Officer, or UMO. UMOs are Navy physicians trained in submarine and dive medicine with special training in radiation health and hyperbaric medicine. Being an undersea medical officer is one of the most challenging, diverse, and rewarding careers that the Navy offers its physicians, with billets in the U.S. and abroad, in a wide variety of possible assignments. Research, diving, special warfare, submarines, Seabees, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, Expeditionary Support, Marine Special Operations, Education and Training, and Leadership. The UMO Training Program is a 23-week course that begins with a six-week program at the Naval Undersea Medical Institute, or NUMI, at Naval Submarine Base New London in Groton, Connecticut. In this program, your training will include rigorous physical conditioning and a modified submarine officer's basic course. In Phase 2, you'll receive nine weeks of dive training at the Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center in Panama City, Florida. In Phase 3, you'll return to NUMI for additional training in professional development, ACLS refresher training, hyperbaric medicine, special warfare medicine, tropical medicine, and radiation health. After your training, you'll move to your first assignment, and the opportunities are many. Let's take a look at some of the possibilities. I'm Lieutenant Commander Matthew Gaffigan, and as a Special Warfare UMO, it's my duty to take care of my team of SEALs. My typical grind involves sick call and routine physicals, injury rehabilitation, and management. Every day in Special Ops is different. Although my primary duty is patient care, I am not isolated to the clinic. Wherever my SEALs go, I go. It's a truly gratifying job. I'm Lieutenant Aaron Sostrom, as a submarine UMO, I'm responsible for the health and readiness of hundreds of submariners, both in port and out to sea. I'm on call 24-7 to give medical advice to IDCs on board submarines at sea, or to meet a medical evacuation when he arrives back at base. I work closely with line officers to keep them up to date on the health of their crews, and I see patients daily in the clinic. I also serve as an educator, conducting weekly training for our independent duty corpsmen. At times, I'm called upon to aid in operational readiness by going on brief underway periods where I conduct physicals and help with training. Only the Navy allows you to serve as a general practitioner with this much responsibility and freedom. There's nothing else like it. I'm Lieutenant Commander Scott Welch, and I'm the medical officer for several explosive ordnance disposal units. These sailors specialize in explosive devices and have specialty training in diving, jumping, and rappelling. My job as an Explosive Ordnance Disposal UMO is to ensure my troops remain healthy and ready to deploy. My typical day starts with a workout, followed by acute and routine medical appointments alongside my independent duty corpsman. I also hold educational courses and am piloting a program aimed to encourage healthy eating Navy-wide. Often I get out of the clinic to scuba dive with EOD guys and have traveled the globe on special UMO assignments. This job has given me the opportunity to grow in my practice of medicine as well as enhance my career in the Navy. I couldn't ask for a better position in the Navy. I'm Lieutenant James Ripple, and I'm one of the diving UMOs at the Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center in Panama City. At NDSDC, we treat diving-related injuries and medically screen potential Navy divers. Most days involve patient care, overseeing dives in the hyperbaric chamber, teaching dive medicine, and getting in my share of good old Navy PT. We keep a local watch for dive-related injuries that require hyperbaric chamber treatment, both for Navy divers and the surrounding community. I also hold a leadership role, overseeing both diving medical techs and IDCs in the clinic. I get in the water every chance I get, instructing Navy diver candidates in the pool or searching the sea bottom. I wouldn't want any other job in the Navy. I'm Lieutenant Jay Diaz Parlett, and I'm part of the medical team for the Naval Construction Division, better known as the Seabees. Although my primary post is with Underwater Construction Team 1 at Little Creek in Virginia, I'm also the primary medical officer for UCT2 in California. I travel between clinics on both coasts to care for over 200 divers and staff. My job involves a healthy balance between patient care and administration. I work alongside Master Chiefs and Admirals, giving advice and oversight for the medical planning of the CB force. I work out with the CBs each morning. I see patients during the day and regularly have opportunities to dive with my crew. This is a great job to launch a career in the Navy. 
I'm Lieutenant Jonathan Brueger. I'm a research UMO with the Navy Experimental Dive Unit, or NEDU, in Panama City. At NEDU, we conduct innovative research set to improve all levels of Navy and civilian diving. We test new diving equipment, explore saturation diving in our ocean simulation facility, and even develop mission-specific diving tables as needed by special warfare in all branches of the military. We also share on-call phone duty as the expert medical advisors for dive-related injuries to both Navy and civilian divers all over the world. From our pools, to our chambers, to our ocean simulation facility, we are prepared to uncover the best and safest ways to dive the world over. If you want to be on the cutting edge of diving research, this is the job for you. Undersea medical officers are highly trained specialists in submarine and dive medicine. They perform a critical service in a wide variety of assignments all over the globe. There are no other opportunities in Navy medicine with the diversity of duty assignments you'll find in the undersea medical officer community. Become an undersea medical officer and play a vital role in ensuring the Navy accomplishes its mission. For more information, contact the Naval Undersea Medical Institute, NUMI, Groton, Connecticut.